How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be unboxing and checking out this Chewy HI10 10.8 inch Windows 10 and Android Remix OS tablet. So let's check it out. So first of all it is IPS, it is 1080p and it's got a quad core 64 bit Intel processor which means you can pretty much run any Windows program on this thing. It's also got 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of built-in storage and yeah, let's check it out. As you can see, we have the keyboard case cover as well as the tablet. So let's check out the tablet itself first. Now Chewy is always known for their simplistic designs, um, but very effective. Now, as you can see here, you may think this is just a white box, except this whole thing is actually a really nice foam pad to protect the screen over here. So let's put that aside and put the tablet aside as well right here and check out what we have for accessories in this box. So first of all, we got this USB Type-C charger and this is actually pretty high quality, very rubberized and rugged and um, it is about a meter long and again, very high quality and it is a nice cable. And we have the European charger, which I found out that this tablet does not come with a American charger, which is not a big deal. It's just a three amp regular charger. It is high quality, but again, it's only for the European people. So you guys are gonna enjoy it over there. Next, we have nothing here and probably a getting started guide. So let's check that out. And uh, we have a certificate in Chinese and another paper, which I have no idea what it's for. So. Let's put that aside and then over here we have a manual that is in English and Chinese not much information just some regular good old info and that is pretty much it for the box so far we have the USB type-c cable and that charger now let's take a look at the tablet all right and guys this is actually aluminum and it feels fantastic unlike the other tablet I've had before my Chewy HI8, which was completely plastic, it felt horrible. I mean, the build quality, there's no flexing whatsoever. The screen does not flex. And again, it feels amazing. So um, let's continue on and check it out everything. So again, 1080p IPS screen, fantastic. Over here, we have the dock for the keyboard uh, case. And this is where the keyboard attaches. On the top, we have the volume button and the power button. On the side, we have quite a lot of ports. We have a headphone jack, what looks like to be a micro HDMI cable, a reset or LED indicator indicator, a micro USB port, a USB type C port, and a micro USB cable, and finally a speaker on the left and a speaker on the right. And that is pretty much it for this tablet. Um, let's turn it on and check it out. And one last thing, this thing does support a stylus pen which I forgot to order. If you guys want it, let me know in the description and I'll go order it and get the review out for that uh, as soon as possible. But uh, knowing Chewy, they always have a screen protector pre-installed which is really nice to have. So let's do that right here. All right. Make sure that the top part is still there and uh, bubble free. And here's the unpeeling therapy. Oh yeah. Now if you guys are wondering, this thing weighs 695 grams, which is pretty good for a tablet, not too bad, but it does make it feel rugged and very high quality. So let's finally turn this thing on. All right, so as you turn it on, you can choose, you have four seconds to choose what OS you want, so let's start with Windows. All right, so we're in. So let's take a look here, uh, let's see how bright the screen can get. So now it's actually at 100% brightness, and uh, it's not too bad, it's actually pretty good. Uh, here's what it looks like under the light. Again, I'd be using this more in a dark environment at night, maybe watching some movies. But let's continue on and check out what this bad boy has in stock. Um, Let's see how they partitioned this tablet. So as you guys can see, Windows actually has most of the storage, which is a very good thing because Android can use the SD card, but Windows, it's, mu it's much better to have the storage into the main drive. So we actually have about 32 gigabytes of free storage, so that is pretty good. Uh, let's take a look more, let's, let's turn this off. And they usually have a switch over here, and that is the Android switch, as you guys can see right here. Oh, take a look at the battery over here. This thing says we have 5 hours and 41 minutes remaining under 68%, which, if that is true, that is just mind-blowing. But now it's saying 10 hours. Okay, maybe not. Maybe this thing needs calibration after a few uh, power cycles, but that is okay. Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi here. Seems like we do not have 5 gigahertz network, but that's quite unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, let's see how loud this thing is. It's okay in volume, we'll find out more. But there's nothing much to show right now other than install Steam, play some games, see how this thing performs. Sound quality isn't the best, but I'll probably be using headphones with this thing. 
So that is pretty much it for Windows. Let's head on over to Android and see what it's all about. All right, so far so good. This thing looks amazing already. Um, yeah, I remember this was Remix OS 2.0, I believe. And uh, let's see what this thing is all about. So as you guys can see, it is running Android 5.1.1, Remix OS 2.0. Let's see if we have an update. And this seems to be the latest version for this tablet, though that is okay. Lollipop is not bad at all. Um, I forgot we had a camera here. Let's see what it is all about. All right. Again, the screen does help a lot. It is super sharp and beautiful. And um, quite actually liking it. Here are some pictures and movies they have pre-installed. Let's see what these are. Okay, forget it. Now, the, thing, the cool thing about Remix OS, you can run multiple apps in Windows as each app can be in its own little window and they can do multitasking with this thing. And as you guys can see here, we have tabs for each of the applications that are currently running in the background, which is pretty cool. Uh, would have been nice if we had Remix OS 3.0, which is so much better, but this will do. But let's move on and see what the keyboard looks like. All right, so while Devil May Cry downloads in the background over here on Steam, we will be unboxing the keyboard case. All right, here we go. So, um, I think this is a magnet. Yep, that is magnetic over here. We got some foam pad and check that out, guys. Um, chiclet type keys that actually have a pretty decent amount of travel and it feels great. It's got a full keyboard, except without the numpad, of course. And we got a nice tactile touchpad over here, which is pretty damn good. Uh, we'll find out how this performs. So let's pop in the tablet and check that out. This thing is actually magnetic and it is pretty quick to set up. So uh, let's see how this back works. And I believe that ha that is that is it. And you got yourself a laptop, almost, or a Surface tablet. This can actually be a pretty good replacement. Let's turn off the lights. So, honestly, the touchpad is pretty quick and I believe it does have gestures for zooming in and scrolling. Uh, let's see if scrolling works in here. Let's hop on my 600 game library. And yes, my, my friends, uh, there is scrolling and that is pretty good. Um, of course, it's lagging because the sheer amount of games I have here. But um, yeah, the mouse is pretty responsive. And yes, you can click and hold and move around, which is nice. You can do, can you do two-handed? Let's see. It kind of gets confused when you use two hands, but that is okay. For the most part, it's doing pretty well. Let's see how the keyboard does here. All right, let's do some testing. One, two, three, typing with this keyboard. Uh, keyboard is, is actually pretty good. And I have not gotten much typo okay never mind typo typos all right so we're in windows right now i've downloaded a couple of games here uh fairly low end but they should represent and give you an idea of how powerful or not so powerful this thing is so let's start with uh broforce over here since it is a pixel art uh, style all right so broforce is unplayable again uh black screen nothing came up Let's try Devil May Cry here. All right, so here's the game Devil May Cry. It's running at 15 frames per second. Um, pretty bad. Let's uh, go down and change it to the, the absolute lowest settings possible, which should be 320 by 200. Just crazy. All right, and now we're getting an extra six frames or so. Yay, look at that. Pixelated mess. It looks like Tomb Raider from the year 2000 on a pocket PC. This is the kind of resolution we're dealing with right now. All right, so here we are inside a game of Counter-Strike on an online server with 15 people. And uh, the game is getting an average about 30 frames per second. And depending on the map, you'll get either 60 or 30. But so far, it's okay. Nothing special, but it is playable. And the settings that I am running it at right now, 640 by 400 on widescreen, no HD uh, textures whatsoever, but the game is per... Alright, I'm trying to play the game now, but when I press anything other than the W, it just throws me out, out of the game, into the desktop, so that's not good. Um, let's find out what's causing that. Alright, it seems like the keyboard was just glitched for some reason. It could be because of the game, 
but now it's not uh, jumping around, so that's good. Uh, let's get something here and see how this performs. So these were just a few examples to show you what kind of power, graphical power it has. It absolutely has nothing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Windows. Let's hop on back on Android and see what it can run. So we're back on Android playing Crossroad and it is not running at 60 frames per second, it's running lower, which means this thing is not totally not meant for gaming whatsoever. You guys saw with Broforce, it doesn't even run. But again, this is running the older version of the Intel Atom processors, which is the Z8300. And that is not a very powerful CPU. In fact, running a 1080 is way too much for it. But what this means is this tablet is basically not for gaming. That, that, that's all. Simple as that. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Um, stay tuned for the review. If you guys want me to test anything, let me know. Again, this is not a gaming tablet. Definitely not a gaming tablet whatsoever. But it is nice to have, especially if you're some kind of creator. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this unboxing, guys. Um, stay tuned for the review where I'll be testing out, especially the battery life. I noticed the battery life on this thing is crazy. It goes for around 6 hours or so, but I haven't completely discharged it from 100% just yet. But stay tuned for the review, and I'll let you guys know in the description on what's up with this thing. If you guys are looking for a gaming device, uh, don't look for a tablet. Look into the G GPD Win. And that is basically a pocket PC that is meant for gaming with the latest Intel Atom processor for these kind of devices. It's got a full keyboard, a mouse, joysticks, and it has a 5.5 inch display, which is phenomenal. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys and see what that what I'm talking about. Overall, build quality, amazing. Keyboard, fantastic. Mouse pad, it's okay, nothing special. The build quality, again, it is really rugged. I mean, this is full aluminum and it feels great in the hand. And this cover case makes it even more rugged. And not only that, it does a fantastic job at keeping the tablet on the desk like so, with a nice 45 degree angle for reading and browsing and whatnot. And the keyboard here is very good. So yeah, that is pretty much it guys. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the review. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care everyone.